Person-Centered Thinking, Wikipedia Article Audio Person-Centered Thinking is a set of values, skills, and tools used in person-centered planning and in the personalization of services used by people who need supports provided by social or health care. Emergence of Person-Centered Thinking Person-centered thinking is described by the UK Department of Health as the foundation for person-centered planning. The British Institute of Learning Disabilities advocates person-centered thinking suggesting that such tools can be really helpful in assisting the process of getting to know a person really well. Values underpinning person-centered thinking a major piece of research into the impact of person-centered planning found that the prevalence of person-centered thinking in services was an important condition for services having the capacity and systems for delivering person-centered results. Person-centered thinking tools in common use include one-page profiles, working-slash-not-working, working, important to-slash-important for, good day-slash-bad day communication charts, donut of staff roles and responsibilities, relationship circles, learning logs and person-centered reviews. These tools provide an agenda which a person and the people who know that person best can think together, focusing on what is important to that person, how they wish to live, and then introduce changes that will move towards those aspirations. Practitioners of person-centered thinking suggest that it's possible to build up from one or two pieces of person-centered thinking, piece by piece based on the area of the person's life that they feel is most important to consider next, this process of building gradually creates a collection of person-centered information, equivalent to a full person-centered plan, and more importantly a range of CO-produced actions. Where a person has a specific budget allocated to pay for their social care, this portfolio of person-centered thinking tools can also be extremely useful as a basis to write a support plan, which explains how they will use this budget to meet what is important to and for them. Person-centered thinking was first developed by a group of people practicing essential lifestyle planning in the U.S. These planners realized that while many plans were being written, many of these were not leading to real change in people's lives. This group decided that person-centered planning was something a small group of people needed to know, but that for planning to work, a much wider group of people need skills around listening for what's important to people and how to best support people. Michael Small who is a leading figure in this group describes person-centered thinking as something that virtually everyone who touches a person needs to know because change was most powerful when all staff were using person-centered thinking tools in their roles, rather than relying solely on person-centered planning facilitators to create plans. To enable these tools to be shared at scale, Essential lifestyle planning was deconstructed into a range of person-centered thinking tools, that enable staff to participate with the person in a cycle of listening, learning and action by building up a set of tools recording this process to form a person-centered description of the person. Person-centered thinking, like other person-centered approaches is based in the values of independence and rights, co-production, choice and control and inclusive and competent communities.